Welcome viewers, this is Green Gaia Tarot and this is your free card pool reading. First of all, let me thank you all for participating and supporting me through my journey on YouTube. And let's begin. So, at first, I'm going to start with... Abigail Badiou. Thank you, Abigail, for participating. Let's see what is your card. Let me shuffle it and then I will, okay. Right away, cards are jumping. Abigail, you won't believe. Serendipity jumped out for you. Wow. But I'm going to still pull a card again because I wanted to pull it in front of the camera. That one jumped out. I'm going to keep that. Still, you've got the Y card. This is the card that is giving me the energy that you... At first, let me tell you about the Serendipity card. Do I need to? <laughs> because we all know. This is the good luck that we can definitely celebrate and everything good is going to come to you. Just remain positive and stay optimistic. The next card is the Y card. So you need to definitely look for the reasons in everything that can be into your spiritual self and you need to go deep within to get the answers or you can definitely go to the books for more knowledge or definitely can go to someone who can guide you also. Now, I'm going to pull a few tarot cards for you also. Let's see what we can get for Abigail. Okay, Abigail, you have the Page of Cups. Next, you have, oh God, Seven of Swords. Why? Then, let's see, Three of Coins. And, okay, two more are coming. Okay, Three of Cups and the Moon card. Let me assemble them and make space for the ones okay what is going on for Abigail as I can see the page of cups is giving me the enthusiastic approach towards life but you need to go deep for learn more that I can tell the seven of swords is there so you need to definitely stay a little bit alert if the other people around you are not joining you in your celebration or growth or progress because you are very much dedicated with your progress and growth because you've got the three of pentacles and that is working on your strong foundation probably specifically something that you are mastering at this point of time in your life the next card is the three of cups so definitely you are going to find people who are going to enjoy with you celebrate your victories and finally the moon card that is the card that is probably giving me the seven of swords vibe again this is the energy of you not knowing or some kind of deception happening in life we all agree that we have situation where we can definitely be fooled by others and we need to stay alert but abigail you don't need to be worried about anything because whoever whoever is trying whatever they are trying you are blessed to get out of those traps and guidance will be there for you. Good luck is definitely there for you. So Abigail, thank you very much 
for your participation have a great day thanks again so now is time for lumina's reading so thank you very much lumina for trusting me with your reading let's see what we have for you at first in the one card okay lumina you've got to be fair so things are definitely going to be fair for you and you are also on the right path good karma is definitely going to be on your side as you are in a very positive and truthful energy and you are probably in a path of higher knowing that can definitely be studies that can also be spiritual learning and that can definitely be everyday learning from life so that was your card but i am feeling like giving you one more card from this deck let's see what we can have okay this one you've got a new dawn the worst is now behind you and positive new experiences are on the horizon so lumina this is your second card and this card is telling me that you are definitely moving forward towards new experiences and there will be new dawn shining bright for you and worst is behind but i'm not letting you go this easy and this fast so let's see what we have for you in the tarot okay we can see we have eight of wands then we have the page of wands next we have let's see three of coins next we have the judgment and nine of coins wow good let me arrange the cards and give some space for you to roll first okay hmm Lumina, your first card from Tarot is Eight of Wands. Then you have the Page of Wands. Next, you have the Three of Coins. Then you have the Judgment. And final card for you is the Nine of Coins. So, there will be good news or messages, communication happening for you. This can also be a spiritual learning that is coming towards you and the next card is the page of wands again messages enthusiastic approach towards life is clearly indicated three of coins again tells me that there is a new foundation that you are building up about something specific and that is going to give you fruitful result in the future you got the judgment card so there is nothing that you need to be worried about all of your hard works results are just coming towards you and you just don't have to worry about a thing because the final card is the nine of coins the card of empowerment the card of independence growth knowledge wisdom prosperity everything is going to be there and it is not a fluke not a lucky break you have earned it that's why you are going to get all those things fair and square you got the first card to be fair so lumina thank you very much again for your participation don't forget to let me know if you like my reading and thank you very much for your participation again so now it is the turn of comet alexander thank you very much for your participation let's see what we have for you in the cards okay 
Okay, you've got the wait card. Don't rush into action right now. Bide your time for better results. So, Comet, you need to wait. Don't rush. You need to take some time and then take action, not right away. Because probably it's not the divine timing yet and you are eager about something. But you need to definitely wait a little more. Let's see what we can have from this deck for you. Okay. Let me see. Okay, you've got chop wood. Meanwhile, while you are waiting, meanwhile, you have to appreciate every single thing in your mundane life. And then you will be attracting more good. While I was adjusting, look what I saw. I don't know if you are looking for this, but this is the bottom card. Maybe this is significant for you. I don't know, but let's see what else we can have. You need to definitely appreciate what you have to attract more good luck. And this card also sometimes indicates to clear out clutter from your life or from your home or workspace. Clearing out clutter means the old worn out. That can be an emotional situation, emotional stagnant situation that is keeping you stuck. If there is any kind of trauma, if you need kind of healing, definitely try for that. Meanwhile, and if you are okay in that manner, then it is time for spring cleaning for you. Let's see what we have for you in the tarot. Yes, I know I told everyone one card, but I'm feeling like more. You've got Queen of Pentacles as your first card. Next you have, my God. <laughs> yes, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. What can I say? You've got... this you've got the loyal heart you've got the king and queen together okay well good thing comes to those who wait that is proven you've got three of wands so definitely there is a waiting period for you you've got the queen of cups too okay Let's see. Is this magic? Is this magic? Alexander, is this magic? You've got the Queen and King of Cups together. This is something really beautiful that is coming for you. And you need to wait. There is nothing else that is coming for you other than this love scenario. If you are not looking for any kind of love scenarios, then you are good with your wealth and material things and you are good with your creative things and close to your heart stuff that can definitely be work or anything that you are currently in right now. And Three of Wands is telling me that it is going to come towards you from far and probably you have been waiting for long and you need to wait a little more so comet alexander thank you very much for your participation don't forget to let me know what is going on if you find anything valuable in the reading thank you again okay now is the turn for hester cho so, thank you, Hester, for trusting me with your reading. Let's see what we have for you in the cards. Oh, my God, Hester, you've got serendipity. Wow. Beautiful. All the good luck, all the good things, the four-leaf clover is going to bring for you for sure 
there is a glare in there okay you can see i know let's see what else we don't need let's why not more you are being helped heaven is working behind the scenes to help you even if you don't see the results yet so hester if you are not being able to see the results yet don't be disheartened things are definitely going to work out and you are going to see the good things coming your way heaven is definitely working behind the scenes and things will come to you in divine timing so let's go for your tarot let's see what we have for you okay you want to come you've got the empress card let's see what else you've got the fool card back to back two major arcanas then let me see okay ten of wands is also the ending of the pain uh, burden sorry you have the queen of pentacles and one more which one which one which one yes you've got the hermit so things are okay let's see i'm feeling like to give you one more yes six of wands that's why now let's read your cards first the empress as the first card was serendipity definitely empress is going to be there with all the good luck and good fortune prosperity creative projects coming probably new beginnings and if you are looking forward towards a uh, good news of a childbirth that is also indicated in this card i don't know your situation but things are looking really good if there is no child situation that is required at this point of time this can definitely indicating new beginnings that can be work that can be creative projects that can definitely be a new path in your life in your spiritual growth next card you have the fool so new is definitely the theme you are moving forwards towards new venture new life new projects for sure the 10 of wands is clearly indicating whatever was burdensome for you it is going to be ending and you are going to find the queen of pentacles energy a very grounded and wealthy and able situation who can in which you can definitely take care of all that is needed pardon me for the noise and this is the card that is definitely giving me the energy that you are definitely going to be in a, in a very calm and composed energy in your life the next card is the hermit card again you are looking forward towards your spiritual growth or higher learnings and at this point of time you are moving forward with it and this path is definitely going to lead you towards the six of wands card this is the energy that tells me that you are going to be victorious you are probably going to set examples and people will definitely recognize your ac accomplishment and honor your efforts so hester cho thank you very much this was your free reading if you like my reading definitely like comment share subscribe thank you very much again so now it's turn for kavita jain so thank you kavita for trusting me with your reading we are going to start your reading let's pull the card for you okay kavita you've got milk and honey so good luck and good times with family and friends is clearly indicated for you 
and there will be more than enough to celebrate for that is also indicated in the first card but we are not going to stop here and we are going to find what more can we have for you because the more the merrier you've got simplify your life eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activities so you need to let go of clutter and old and worn out things and situations from your home and work life and that will bring you more balanced work life or peaceful home situations if there is anything that is bothering your situation more from past now is the time for you to let them go so that was those cards let's see what we have for you in the tarot we are going to make space for your tarot now let's see your first card is knight of wands then you have the six of pentacles that is the six of coins okay then you have the eight of wands and i'm feeling like taking this also then again there is the page of wands next and final card okay two cards came out okay you've got the lover and the son together kavita things are looking clearly good for you you've got the milk and honey card not more to demand or ask still your first card is the knight of wands so there is a lack of continuity in your energy probably you need to rectify that whatever you are doing or going on you need to just stay in the course don't let your energy to be something that is on again off again whatever you are doing keep doing it the next card is the 6 of coins that is the 6 of pentacles so definitely you need to find the right balance that is the right amount of give and take don't over invest don't obsess just find the right balance equal amount of give and take and communication is needed as you can see in the card two people are exchanging a message or an envelope you can say this can definitely be a message but don't just overgive or over expect be in the right balance the next card is the 8 of wands so definitely there will be messages and communication happening and spiritual growth or spiritual learning is also indicated probably you are thinking of learning something new at this point of time in your life to improve your work skills or simply grow spiritually also the next card for you is the page of wands yes you are very much enthusiastic as you can see there are another envelope with flower tattooed in this person's hand so again messages are a very big part of your reading that i can see kavita for you then you've got the lovers card so definitely this messages can be the love messages that will come towards you and the sun card is telling me that you are definitely blessed with all the good things that will come towards you for sure that can definitely be new beginnings and abundance prosperity as well as a childbirth also because we all know sun card indicates that too moreover things are really looking good as your reading started with the milk and honey card the final card the sun card is completely sealing the deal with the blessings so kavita this was your reading thank you very much for 
trusting me with your readings. Definitely continue supporting my channel. Thank you. So next we have Amruta Mishra. Thank you Amruta for definitely trusting me with your reading. Let's start the reading with the card we have for you. Okay, you've got synchronicity. Your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events. Notice them in order to increase their flow. So whatever you prayed and asked are going to come towards you. And you are probably seeing repeated numbers, repeated names coming over some times towards you from television, mobile or books or songs. Probably some same song or same lyrics are coming into your notice over and over again and you definitely need to notice them to gain the positivity towards your manifestation and definitely things are working out for you let's see what else we have for you you got the y card so you need to look for the answer probably within or maybe you need to go for higher studies whatever your situation at this point of time you need to definitely look for the answers why and that will definitely help you you are blessed for sure and you understand the situation when you go deep for answers let's see what we have for you in the tarot Okay, your first card. Your first card is Ten of Wands. Next, we have the Lovers. And then we have the Seven of Swords. Okay, what is going on? Then we have the Three of Swords. Okay. Next, we have the Moon card. So, in the tarot, we got some serious situations. Your first card is the Ten of Wands. So, this is the burden that is crushing you. Next is the Lovers. I was happy to see this card. But the next card just halted my happiness. So, there are things that you don't know that is the deception in the love situation that is giving you the heartache and that's why you are burdened so much and that's why you need to know why but the first card was saying that good things are there or probably you are asking those questions why and your questions answer is definitely going to come towards you so if this is a situation that already happened for you I'm really sorry if this is something that might happen I'm sorry again but we all know all these are entertainment purpose so i'm telling you not to take this into your heart so much but if you feel like that you need to be cautious definitely be so your cards are clearly indicating a sabotage and a heartache a burden situation and deception regarding love situation did this can definitely be the person that you have in your mind but this can also be people around you and someone else who is trying to sabotage this situation and probably you need to be mindful of that also that's why you need to know why sometimes two innocent people fall in love and there are other people who wants to rain on their parade 
so you need to be mindful of those situation also the moon card is keep being my eyes stuck so probably there are things that you don't know yet and you need to know them you need to follow your intuition you need to look deep you need to understand what is going on and why it is happening whatever wrong it is happening at this point of time whatever making the situation difficult for you and your situation and that will definitely give you the answer that you seek the knowledge that you need to have at this point of time so amruta this was your reading i'm sorry if i hurt you any kind any way but that's what cards gave me and hopefully it helped you in any manner thank you very much again for trusting me with your reading hopefully things will work out for you thank you so now we are going to read for shruti gadia thank you shruti for your trust in me for your reading let's see what we got for you in the cards shruti you've got the card imagine this is the card that tells you to definitely enhance your imagination until and unless you see yourself succeeding and growing bigger in your life you cannot manifest it and that's why you need to expand your imagination like the sky grow with your imagination that i always tell when this card comes you can definitely expand to the ultimate and in finite possibilities if you can imagine that so let's see what we have for you in this card yes you have dream big let go of small thoughts about yourself see yourself succeeding i was telling you you have to imagine it you have to imagine it my cards are definitely giving me the energy that you need to definitely dream big to achieve bigger goals if you doubt yourself you are not going to be doing yourself a favor and you must not do so you must dream big and let go of small thoughts that's how you are going to see yourself succeeding and when you can imagine yourself succeeding big time you can manifest that into your life let's see what we have for you in the tarot okay yes you've got the magician card then you've got the ace of pentacles next you have okay both of them two of wands eight of cups and one more which one okay queen of pentacles so let me arrange them first okay so shruti your first card is the magician so you are definitely someone who is going to manifest everything that you dreamed or set your goals to in your life because you are blessed with all the power from divine and you have all the tools in your hand to manifest your dreams into your reality at this point of time the next card is the ace of pentacles that is the minor arcana representation of the sun card so there will be offers opportunities wealth prosperity new paths opening for you for sure so things are looking good and big for you the next card is two of wands so you are definitely planning ahead and planning forward towards your life and the next card is the eight of cups 
you are changing your paths you are cutting cords with the old and worn out and this is your time to move forward with your bigger and better paths of life towards your ultimate stability groundedness and self growth you are definitely on the right path it is just i'm just feeling out of breath so much i don't know why i was extremely all right a while ago but right now i'm feeling out of breath so i think you are very much anxious and i'm having your energy a bit and don't be anxious that is my advice towards you you just have to have the faith you have to dream big imagine bigger possibilities for you and see yourself manifesting all that in your life all that good things all that jazz that you want in your life and you will be there soon ground your energies pray meditate and take some rest that will definitely give you better energy to proceed forward so shruti thank you very much again for trusting me with your reading if you like my reading don't forget to tell me so thanks again have a great day so now we are going to start the reading for sanskriti singh sanskriti thank you very much for trusting me with your readings and we are going to start your reading with this cards okay sanskriti your first card came out as morning affirmation say positive affirmation each morning to open the gates of manifestation so this is the card that tells you to definitely practice positivity and positive affirmation will definitely bring your manifestation faster you are probably asking for some of your goals or hard works results at this point of time and that will definitely come to you if you have a very positive attitude and you just practice the positive affirmations each morning that you can that you have or that you will have for sure what you are asking so let's see what we have for you in the next card you've got community card and i felt to take this card yes the peace so your friends and family will definitely help you that is the community card whatever you are asking at this point of time from the universe with a little help from your friends and family you are going to get it they will probably inspire you or give you some information that you require at this point of time and you will find peace i think you are a little bit anxious about the situation that you are asking or what for you ask for the card and things will work out with the support from your community you will find peace for sure let's see what we have for you in this card and i have a card here knight of cups so there will be offers coming your way next you have oh my god the devil card okay so let's see what else what else you have 6 of wands and high priestess and 5 of pentacles so let's see let's see what we have for you the first card that came was knight of cups then came the devil so this offer that is going to come towards you that can be something difficult the next card is the 6 of wands you are going to be victorious no matter what 
the next card to that is the high priestess and the final card is the five of pentacles okay let's see what we have for devil's clarifier we got king of coins we got eight of swords we got nine of wands okay so this devil is giving me the vibe that you are probably being very much anxious about it and the offer that came or going to come that is creating the trouble inside your head you want stability you want growth for sure with the king of cups from that offer but as you are very much anxious you are seeing things bigger than actually they are you are worried you are blinded by fear that things will be difficult and you are not seeing that it is not that difficult and you are anxious that's why the nine of wands is i'm getting this is your energy not anyone else you are anxious you are fearing the situation and you are worried about the outcome so much that is keeping you stuck so my advice to you let go of it because the next card to the devil card is the six of wands you are going to be victorious and things will definitely work out you are going to set examples and there is nothing that can stop you the next card is the high priestess so definitely you are going to follow your intuition and you will know what to do how to do it you are going to be mastering the art that can give you the success but the final card is the five of pentacles this is the card that tells about you feeling alone left out in cold so here comes the worry probably whatever the offer is coming towards you that is going to take you away from the people or the loved ones but you are not feeling like going towards that offer or pursuing that you are probably going somewhere for studies or jobs and you don't want to at this point of time leaving everyone behind and that's why you are anxious and worried and you are feeling alone but let me tell you you cannot bring everyone with you all the time maybe later you can find good situations for you and come back but at this point of time moving forward with this offer will definitely help you and give you the opportunities and success that you need so this is the guidance from the cards that i'm getting so you don't need to worry just have the positive attitude but ultimately this is your decision if you feel like that it won't be peaceful for you definitely you can deny the offer and look for something else because all you have to have is the peace of mind so thank you sanskriti for your participation have a great day so this was your free card readings if you all like this kind of readings and you want to participate more let me know in the comments i will definitely try to arrange that again soon enough thank you very much everyone for supporting me supporting my journey in this channel and have a very good times Stay blessed everyone. Thank you.